All right. Welcome to the first ever episode of Dev Hour. This will be one of five. This is going to be a five-part series where we go and we as devs are going to rank every champion that has ever been released in TFT and put them on a tier list. And today we're starting with the one costs. Uh, and joined with me today on my left, if I can do hand left, smack him here with my hand. Uh, Giovanni, want to introduce yourself first? Hey, I'm Giovanni. Uh, I used to be a set lead back in the day. Now I'm just helping out wherever I can. So sweet. Uh, the last set you led was uh, six, right? Correct. Nice. And then on the right, with this hand smacking, uh, we have Witty. You want to introduce yourself? Yep, I'm Whitrock, a uh, game designer, and I've led many sets, and I'm currently leading set 10. Yeah, he is. So basically the question is, why is he here and not working on set 10? That, that's the real question. All right, so like I said, we're going to go through every single champion in order. Basically, you can say S through D. Uh, if we want to have it, uh, so let's just do S through D and say what you want. So here we go. Tristana. Oh, yeah, go could, ahead. Could... Yeah. Can we establish real quick yep. uh, what S means and what D means? Like, basically, like... Yeah. So I have some bearings on this? Yeah, so I think this is from a, like, how happy you guys are as designers and, like, where they landed in terms of player satisfaction. So if you look back and you're like, this is the pinnacle of one costs, that's an S tier. If you're like... So, like, relative to when they came out? Uh, I would say relative to when they came out, yes. Okay. Um, I would say uh, A tier is, like, solid we'd reprint this it's we're happy with this cool b is like it's fine it existed it didn't cause any harm c is it's you know not the best really wouldn't be happy with it have some regrets and d is we're, sh we're shamed we just you know kill it kill it with fire never reprint it again kind of things so all right basically like i said i'll name a champion giovanni then witty at some point, I might mix that up so that you're not always first, and then I'll tie break. So, all right, Gunslinger Yordle Tristana. Um, top of B tier for me. Uh, good all around unit. Would probably reprint her again, but I think she was mostly carried by a Gunslinger being fun rather than the individual unit. That's kind of where I'm at on her. Cool, Woody. Yeah, I was gonna put her in C. She's just a little, if I remember correctly, like a little complicated for a one cost and not like super satisfying. So like a slightly bad mix there. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, C. Someone said, can I zoom in? I can zoom in a little, but I'm only gonna have so much room to work with, so. All right, uh, Ranger Noble Vane. Um. C tier, um, it's a good unit. Uh, I think there are better versions of it. And I think that was mostly because of Ranger and Noble being the way they were rather than the individual unit. So like within their place in the set. So which tier did you say? C. Okay. Witty? Yeah, I think I, I think I'm also C on this one. Um, the spell was like, okay for satisfaction and we kind of like, hey, she does true damage, but I'm not sure it was actually correct for her to be doing true damage. Uh, uh in the set so gotcha uh these are set one by the way so some of these will be out of order so i'll try to call them out a little bit more uh warwick set one brawler wild the fact that i don't even even remember what he did <laughs> i only remember set i think five version for one cost warwick puts him like in probably like c or d tier for me i'm gonna say c because i don't remember him being like not great i just don't remember him Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to put him in C. Um, it, this was like dashy Ultimate Warwick. Um, and I remember there, well, it was like an awkward version of a dash. Uh, we didn't have very many dashes in set one. And the few times this like was relevant was fun, but it was very rarely relevant. <laughs> so I, I'm going to overrule you guys on this one. I'm going to put it D. I think this one's bad. Like the fact, like you said, no one remembers it. It never had a heyday. People weren't really excited about it. The traits didn't really help it that much. I think it could be high D, but I think it is not something I would ever want to see back. Uh, jar, okay, so we jumped around a bit here. Uh, here's a classic. Set three, Protector Dark Star Jarfin. <laughs> uh, I mean, he had his moments where he was uh, very prevalent and very memorable. Mm -hmm. um, but just a, like a one cost providing all utility in an AoE, like... 
I think I don't think we would like do this again. And so that puts me in C tier personally. Okay. Um Yeah. Cool. Witty? Yeah, it's also hard for me to call him D because he was memorable mm -hmm. and he had like such a clear role in Dark like people like Dark Star needed fodder and he was the one cost fodder that you felt good about being fodder because he'd get his flag off and get the attack speed. So I'm like I wouldn't do him again, but like I'd still probably call him low C. All right, yeah, we'll put him at high, like mid C here above Tristana. Mm -hmm. I will say power wise, clearly S plus plus. The fact that he by himself gave like what anywhere from forty to eighty percent attack speed based on the given patch, ridiculous. But also Rid scaled with AP, right? So yeah, yeah, know. it did scale yeah. with AP. Oh. So you death capped him and hit like hundred and twenty. So cool. Uh, set two, Mage Ocean Vladimir. This is B tier for me. It's like middle of the pack. It's a memorable drain tank, uh, like single instant spell. You can tell what's happening. You get a big chunk of HP back. He's like not super memorable, but he's like really just solid. Like I, I could see us reprinting a version of this, maybe with a minor chain. Okay, Woody. Yeah, I'd also put him at B. Also, some of these are funny because, like, later on we'll be talking about the yep, reprinted the reprint versions, versions of them. Yep. yep. <laughs> um, and so it, was, it, it, like, this spell worked a lot better because he was in in mage. Um, and it's a little bit of an awkward spell to follow when he's mostly at melee, but B tier. Okay. Speaking of reprints, here we have set two Ranger Light Vein, the one cost. Slightly better to me personally than set one vein but i don't know if it gets out of like c tier if we consider her c tier it's just like higher like slightly better version of the same thing yeah i think i put her in low b because it was just so much more like hey if you're gonna do just stand and uh do do silver bolts vein giving her a lot of attack speed is very fun and she was actually using the skin that made more sense in the group so <laughs> that's true <laughs> All right, uh, set to... Oh, here's a great one. Set to Mage Mountain to Leah. I don't remember this unit. So this was cast the knockup on a random unit. A I'll, random <laughs> unit. I'll, de I'll detear this one. I, re I regret this unit for sure. <laughs> I am a fan of uh, inconsistent one cost. They're like some of my favorites. Um, but I don't remember this one, so I'm going to go with D as well. Like, I don't... So Which is crazy. It's definitely D tier, and you must not have been playing that much in set two because what you'll remember is I lost the fight because Talia literally picked my carry and stunned them for two seconds. Like, it was pure yeah. random, could just hit the back line. It was very frustrating. All right. Uh, I believe this is set three, if I've got this right. Uh, set three, Sorcerer, Star Guardian, Zoe. This was the uh, the bubble. I like units like this. Um, I don't know if it's quite A tier, but it's like definitely at least B tier. It's understandable. It's easy to appreciate. It's a good utility unit. I think I'm gonna say A personally. Witty. I was also I was also gonna say A. Um, okay. uh, I think this was satisfying to watch, and this was one of our first. Uh, like we did a bunch of experiments on different like targeting types in set three. Uh, and I think this was the first time we did. Uh, like highest absolute health, um, which I think worked really well for this. This uh, you know, sleep the backline sometimes, sleep other units sometimes. Fun to watch. So, cool. Uh, here's a good one. Set three, demolitionist rebel zigs. Um, I would say B tier. Like you could see the spell. It did damage. You could build around him early. He could hold items. Uh, for me, I think the reason that he sits in B tier in my mind was because of the sheer amount of fizzles we had early on in the set, and that just oh. sticks with me. And that's not really like a problem with the design. It's just like what. Uh, whenever I think about that, that zigs, I'm like, oh, there goes his mana. <laughs> True, Woody. Yeah, I, I think I put him at C. Similar pieces. There was also like. I, d I don't remember there being a particularly viable like Ziggs build or much of a way to play around him, but maybe I don't remember well. I mean, there were definitely ways to play him okay, and he did well in Rebel. I've got him at low B then, based on the middle ground here between you two. So, All right, uh, set two, Predator Glacial Warwick. 
I barely remember this unit. Was it just a reprint of set one? This is a reprint of set one, but he was glacial and his ability applied on hit effects, so he could stun while he was ulting, but that was redundant because he was already suppressing someone <laughs> yeah. while he was ulting. Like what? And predator predator was really awkward. So yeah, this is like was he just the predator tax? Yeah, he was the predator tank, which was necessary, but I would still put him in D below. Like, just put him next to the other Warwick. <laughs> but yeah, you put him just... below the other Warwick? Yeah, I'd put him below. Okay, okay. Uh, here's a good one. Set one, Knight Noble Garen. Balance aside, and and spell shape aside, if we're going back, like, to set one, mm -hmm. this is an A tier for me. Um, maybe S tier, honestly, um, for the time. Definitely not these days. Um, it is a tank in the front line who you look at and see really strong damage dealing visuals that like are very visceral, mm -hmm. but they're still providing a lot of frontline value, even if it's kind of invisible. I, I kind of like that a lot for frontline tanks. Um, it's like a way to get a tank that's not just gain healing, gain shielding. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know whether I put him in S or A, but A for sure for me. Witty? I'll, I'll give him an A. Um, I think my biggest knock against him was like it, a lot of people took a long time to be like, this guy like takes 80% less magic damage or whatever it was yeah. during his spell. Um, but uh, yeah, it served, it served his purpose. Ooh, here's a spicy one. Uh, Gunslinger Pirate Graves from set one. S tier for me personally. I want to see this reprinted. Well, kind of like our the really the board size is different these days. And so the impact this would have on uh the game, like now with like a unit with the exact same spell wouldn't be as interesting. But the combination with Gunslinger with all of the items back then uh, just made him fun to play. Oh, God. Um, so personally, I he was one of my favorite one costs of set one. Curse Don't blade. think I'd bring him back. Curse you know, blade, exactly, lawnmower with his items, but Oh, God. Yeah, this dude is a weirdo because actually he changed so much during set one because we didn't ship with the RFC thing. That made him a lot of fun and then made him really strong with a bunch of on-hit items. Yep. Also, Gunslinger changed from the I fire like sequential different shots at different targets. And we made all the other gunslingers just fire extra bullets except for him. He yep. literally worked differently than every other gunslinger. So I'm like, I don't know. A, because all of that made him, like, interesting throughout the set. I, I, w I would, like, totally revamp him if we reprinted him. But, like, the, there's something very good here. The, the thing I remember about him, too, was, like, if you had RFC on him, you could lose PVE rounds. So... Oh, jeez. Yeah. I, I think um, there's a clip somewhere of somebody just losing like 1 3 because they had an RFC on Graves. Oh, no. I, the, thing, the thing that I love so much about him is that, like, given the item system and given the trait system, he interfaced so well with so many of them in a way that made me really think about unique itemization in TFT in a way a lot of other units at the time, especially low cost ones, didn't, which is why I like him so much. Yep. All right. We talk about blunders in development. This was one of my biggest blunders as the balance guy back in the day. Sorcerer Void Cassadin, set one. Yeah, so this guy lived or died based on if he could successfully suppress the unit he was attacking to never cast their spell. Right, because the mono reduction. Um, yeah, so I liked the little position. Like, I liked that it mattered very much where you positioned him, and I think that felt good for a one cost, but the sharpness was very real, so... <sighs> Yeah, when I think about, like, would I reprint him? Like, B or C, probably? Okay. I'll do C. For me, I think it's, like, a high B or a low A. Um, and I don't think that, like, the mana burn was fun to play against. Um, but what I do like about him uh, was... We talk about in TFT this idea of, like, not being screwed by your items. Like, you should be able to, kind of regardless of what components you get, be able to, like, kind of build out a comp. Um, and so, like, having access to mana generation through bow or, you know, whatever is, like, good. He was kind of, like, one of the original ways of doing that through unit design, which is attack speed equals tankiness. And I like that a lot. Okay. Regardless, the, the mana steal aside, blah, blah, blah. But, like, the way he, like, generated shield, I think, was actually really nice. Yeah, you convinced me low B... I think the problem below the, the problem I had with him was like he was very feast or famine, right? Like he if he had enough attack speed and whatever to generate infinite shields, you just didn't kill him, right? It was just another one of those drain tanks we've had a lot of problems with. 
Yeah. And obviously, Void, Assassin, Cassidin, you know, and the, the meme of, uh, we're not going to be patch this. We think it's fine. It wasn't fine. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Assassin Void, set one, Kha'Zix. This guy was the, if he gets a kill, if he, like, if he has him isolated, his spell would do like three times the damage. And he was balanced around the fact that that existed. So if you didn't have him isolated, he basically did nothing. I think he's a B tier. Um, he's an interesting unit. He's got a good positioning ask. You don't have enough control over where he gets to. And I think like back in the, like if this was reprinted again today, like he would never get isolated targets. Right. Uh, ever. Uh, which is, but back then people weren't great. So he did. <laughs> and it was fun to watch sometimes. Okay. Yep. I'm, I'm also B. For the longest time, this was our quintessential, uh, like one cost that is like very clear and satisfying uh when like board counts are low at early levels and then he kind of fades into the background at high levels unless you like itemize him and play around him um yep. so i'd put him at b all right just a reminder we have like a lot of these to get through gotta go so. fast yep yeah <laughs> speaking of which mordekaiser knight phantom d tier i don't d. know i i think he is the worst one cost we've ever made yep I remember we uh, this is the this was the last spell that got added to set one because uh, the Mordekaiser VGU came out right before set one, so we were playtesting a totally different spell until the last minute. Nice, uh, Nidalee set one shapeshifter wild transformed and then gained a bunch of attack speed and swipe swipe swipe. Uh, I mean B tier for me. Um, maybe maybe closing in on A tier. She was memorable. I enjoyed her. Um, I don't know like. I, I remember her, but I don't remember like ever, her being like the the thing I like looked at in my comp long term. I just liked her as an early game unit. So she was she was one of the first reroll comps because you would play reroll wild with her and then two shapeshifter. And because mm. shapeshifter was percent health, you'd get a three star Nidalee with a ton of extra. People would do RFC. So yeah, I'll, I'll I'll put this at A. I think the pattern of I am a ranged unit need to stay in the back, and then once I join the fight and Wild worked really well with this, I get to be like really powerful. Was yeah. was fun. I, I think Nidalee is a great one cost. Um, I'd like to see that one reprinted someday. Uh, okay, champion without a spell, uh, set three brawler rebel malphite. This is D tier for me. Um, uh, <laughs> what you mean? Champions I, with no spell aren't good. <laughs> I I I remember talking. Oh, I don't want to go like um, you know, story mode for every one of these, but I remember <laughs> talking to Whitrock and being like, "Man, this spell is just so boring. I'm never interested in it. Like, can we like make it so it refreshes every six seconds or something along those lines?" And Whitrock was like, "No, nah, no, nah, this is just <laughs> going to be the simplest tank spell in the world. Uh, it's meant to be forgettable." I was like, "Okay." Yep, we were going very simple for set set three, is because we were so scared of complexity after set two. But it's D tier. I wouldn't I wouldn't have set spell this simple again. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna put it at the top of D tier because it made the meme games where it's like if you could win with a Malphite three on your comp with items on it, you were like, you you were uh, you were flexing on your opponents, and that that alone made it worth it for me. All right, here's a hot take one. Zaya set three Blade Master Celestial. A tier, uh, it's possible I could consider S tier, but she had enough problems that I like. I think that there were certain times at which playing her was incredibly fun, but probably not for everyone else. And so I got to keep the play against in mind. So A for me. Okay. I'll give it a B because I don't I don't think we would Ooh. ever like I don't think we would ever be like just the spell just gives attack speed for a few seconds. Like that spell is not, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know, feel like a modern TFT spell, but it was but for her for her character and for attack animations and blade master all that was was pretty fun so i i'm i'm bumping it up to a low a simply because the memorable you know the the builds were really good i think especially in modern day where the ad percents are better balanced she'd actually do okay and the pikachu builds were very fun yeah uh sorcerer chrono twisted fate same set set 3 Everyone's we like, what did he do? A of times. <laughs> well, he threw, he threw three cards because that's all Twisted Fate ever did for a while. Um, I think I like the mage version of him better just because mages are cooler. But like, it's a good spell and we keep reprinting it. Like, at very, the very least B tier. Okay. Witty? Yeah. Knowing where I'm going to put other version, uh, this guy in other sets, I'll put him in C because I think he's the worst 
of this uh of using this spell relative I, to his traits i agree i think uh sorcerer chrono and like he just had to like slow down and do his uh, a cast animation in a chrono build which was a little silly so uh all right set three cybernetic vanguard leona this is just uh gain flat dr for a window right yep but yeah flat block yeah this is b tier for me it's a it's a good tank spell also thinking i think i'm gonna say the exact same thing thinking about all the versions of this we've done i think this is my least ah but no it was, I, it was I good the cyber part was good yeah yeah having other tankiness to stack okay i, I go b yeah i'm putting it right about here yeah, that's better than zigs uh okay void info so speaking of reprints void infiltrator set three kha'zix I don't remember this being any particularly more memorable or less memorable than uh, set one's version outside of like the traits associated with it. So, no, but, but if he isolated somebody, he would do a thousand damage and stun them. Oh, <laughs> so much cooler, so much different. <laughs> it's the same for me. Yeah, I'll put him B tier, but below the other version. I, I think he's below the other one. I think he's C. I think just a way less version. Void was more interesting, right? Like an assassin was more interesting, but infiltrator, not so much. So, I don't yeah, know. That's fair. Uh, okay, somehow... I don't know what order these in, so we're hopping around a bunch, but uh, set four, Dusk Sharpshooter Vein. I'm going to say this in advance. Uh, I believe set four had the best one-cost package all around, and so this is where I'm going to start dishing out a bunch of S. Okay, so, okay. so uh, chat, by the way, who was the set lead for set four, just so we're clear on this? All right, all right. <laughs> so, you're, so you're S for Vein. I'm S for Van. Witty? Yeah, this makes it to A for me because it's the best ver of the versions of the spell. I think uh, Dusk plus Sharpshooter made this spell a lot more fun. So I'm in A as well, but the thing I think that knocks it down was it did not use Dusk that well. So like you could never really build Dusk comps around it. It was very awkward. But sure, that's the fair. Sharpshooter part was great. I think Sharpshooter carried a lot of units as just being one of the best traits of all time. Yeah. Chat's question marking me. Apparently I forgot that there were good dusk builds with Vein 3, so hmm. It's still A for me though. Alright, uh Fiora, set three, Blade Master Cybernetic. This was a one cost, this is a reprint of set one that we haven't rated yet. This began the this is one of the many memes of Fiora the one cost. This is Perry and Stun and Yeah. So uh this one didn't have to pay the noble tax, which helps a lot. I think this is just a B tier spell. We used it multiple times. I know I don't think it ever like popped off as like incredibly no, you memorable could never for make me. Her carry. But... Never. Yeah. So it's it's a solid B tier for me. Yeah, and I was like top of C. It's fun to watch as a one cost, but she was never actually good. So yeah, I'll go. I'll go very bottom of B for now. All right. Uh, oh, set four. Dragon Soul Brand. I like the spell. It's it's a B tier for me. Um, he, it had problems. We fixed some of them. Um, it's it's just B. Witty? Yeah, and I think I'm like high C. Um, I also just, I, I think I have less like memorable moments of this guy. So I'm high C also. I feel like of all the versions of the brand, this was like the weakest of his spells. I like the dot mage version better. I like the alt version better when he's like a four cost. This felt like the weakest of his spells. So if I were to reprint him, I'd like I'd want to use one of those other spells more. Uh, okay, <laughs> set three, infiltrator battle cast nocturne. This was jump in the back and CC somebody with that like the slow channel time, and then they'd fear them. Yeah, that's a D tier for me, I think. Oh, uh oh, what are you? What? Ooh, I'm, I think I'm giving this a this a B. This is because two things I liked about the spell. It was uh, uh, like a positioning game, but more focused on like CC, keep my my carry away from the Nocturne and the explicit uh, battle cast synergy. He had a super high tick rate. And so you would get uh, battle cast procs during the cast. Ooh, interesting. I, I'll tie break this as very low C tier. I don't think I would reprint the spell because like you said, it was very much designed around the traits and assassin. And so like, Without those two things, it falls apart very quickly. So I think it, I also know 
I also know that I'm I'm rating the reprint version of this spell sl uh, uh, worse. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Alawi, set three brawler battle cast. This was the tentacle slam that gave her armor and MR? And s stole it from, shred shredded theirs, yeah. That's... I, I I don't know. That's like a high C, low B for me. I I like other versions of Alawi better as a one cost personally. We've never made a memorable Alawi one cost. She always just feels like she exists. Yeah, I think I'm high C. This is functional. Looks good as a one cost, but I don't know. She never. Okay. Ooh. Had a big impact. Sniper Chrono Caitlin set three. This is our first channel and blow somebody up. I think this is an A for me. I just like this spell, regardless of where her traits were at. It's always rough when you have, like, here's a bunch of attack speed, now stop doing that in channel. Uh, it doesn't always feel great, um, but, like, just it's just a, a good spell. It's like a good A spell. Yep, I'm also I'm also an A. Ooh. She was she was doing her job. This, this one cost, satisfying my, one cost. This would have been my first S. I actually think this is I was is thinking S. about it. Um, this, you, want, you want to move it to S? My problem with my problem with not being S is I don't think she could quite carry all the way into the late game, which maybe is fine for a one cost. I mean, that's, fine but, for a one. Uh, like, that's that's what I liked about her is like you never really three starter, but she did a lot of work. You were really happy with her at two star. So I don't know, and it felt like a better version of like the gin that's on live right now, just much more satisfying. But all right. Uh, bubble Bobble, set for Mage Enlightened Nami. Shoot the bubbles. This is an A tier for me. What a great support unit. Super memorable. Fun with Mage. Um, Definitely fun I with mean, Mage. When it, when it comes to, like, support units, I, I think she's, like, a, like one of the best we've done. Um, but I don't know, like, compared to all other one costs, if she's worth an S. But, like, it's close for me. Yeah, I'll, I'll go A for sure. Yeah, um, I, I think this is high A for sure. All right. I might have to zoom out a little bit, by the way, chat. Like, I can't keep them all on screen, so this is going to get a little tough. Uh, Warlord Vanguard set for Garen. This is a straight reprint, including the magic damage reduction, right? Yeah, the magic damage reduction in particular was the thing that I remember Balance Team having some trouble with. I say Balance Team, this was me at the time. I It was like, oh, he's just immune to magic damage. Wee! I, I put this below uh, set one's version. Um, personally, but around the same, maybe a couple couple notches down, maybe like B instead of A. Yeah, I would put him almost at the exact same spot, but slightly below. Okay, I I would have put him pretty close. Like the VFX alone on this champion were really yeah. exciting. Like that skin's really nice. It fit the Warlord theme really well. Um, but we go there. That works. Divine Siphoner Nasus set four. Yeah, second half, the 4.5, right? 4.5, because that's yeah. second half, yeah. Um, I liked this spell a lot. Um, I I don't know if it ever got to a point where... I don't know. I, it, high C, low B is kind of where I end up. Yeah, this is somewhere in the middle of C for me. Okay. I'll go high B. I think it's better than brand, but... Mm, yeah. All right. Uh, Cultist Mage Twisted Fate. Just a better version of the other Twisted Fate because yep. it has Mage, and Mage is cool. <laughs> yeah, where did we put that TF? Uh, that TF was down at C tier. Yeah, that's, this can make it to, to mid, mid B for me. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think this is a good version. Yeah, right about there. Ooh, okay. Fortune Brawler Tom Kench. S. Four. Oh, S? S. S, 100% S. Oh my One of my favorite one cost spells of all time. It is dirt simple. It scales with so many things. It worked with so many spatulas. I loved it. Oh my goodness. I, I will give this an A. I mean, for, for simple one costs that, oh. that do their job, like, it, it, for, of all the pure passive tanks we've ever done, I think this is the best, the best one. So. Okay. So I'm going to tie break this into S for one reason. One reason. And that's because Chosen Fortune Tom Kench was the most exciting opener and it baited everyone so much. It was just like, it was fun. You got a Fortune Tom Kench opener, you're like, let's go. You had a blast. He was strong. Uh, I think that was the way to go. I also love seeing Elderwood spat Tom Kench's that literally could not die. It was so good. Yeah. All right. Speaking of other ones, 
Duelist Exile Yasuo set four. S. This is my first S. <laughs> this this is an S for yeah, me as well. This... And it's cheating. He's a two cost we put as a one cost. But like, <laughs> damn, he's so good. Yeah, I, I he might actually be the best one cost of all time. Um, he felt great too, right? Because you'd three star him on three one. But if you couldn't find that Yone, it fell off hard and like it was good. So like, I, it might be the best one cost of all time. We'll have to go through, but I could easily see him being number one. Uh, speaking of which, not number one here, Protector Academy Garen. This might be high D, might be low C for Set me. Six. Not a huge fan, honestly. I'll put him somewhere in C. I I, I, re I remember having some fun playing the the reroll uh, Protector Comp in six and having him be one of the one of the carries. I. I thought he was like the worst part of Academy. I think he was one of the reasons why Academy just wasn't didn't end up fun. You had this awkward Garen that didn't do much. So low. It C is for hard me. to do a low cost Garen that is not spin because the spin is so fun. Right, and because everything else is just like gain a buff, you know, and you're not gonna have him alt at one cost. So yeah, one of his animations is he just kind of rolls his shoulder a bit. Wow, what a great animation <laughs> for a spell. <laughs> All right, I think God, I'm gonna get my numbers wrong here. Uh, Sure shot laser core. That's set eight. We've moved all the way to set eight for some reason. I don't again. I don't know what order these are in, so forgive me. Uh, sure shot laser core ash. I mean, for like being the premier or the the early sure sh uh, uh, rather laser core unit, mm -hmm. she's like high B. I think that's just like hey, if there was a unit that was fun to watch, laser core, it was ash. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say B as well. It's just solid. All right. I can see B. It's not as good as Twisted Fate. Uh, no. Spirit Assassin Diana. There were two versions of Diana, right? Yes. One was Moonlight, Moonlight and one was Spirit. One was so this Spirit. was the 4.5 version. Okay. I like the Moonlight version more than I like the Spirit version. Yep. Um, low, low C for me. Yeah. C tier for me as well, I think. I agree. I think it's better than Nocturne, though. So actually, no. We'll put it right about here. Okay, this is the first champion that I remember hitting 30,000 health. Uh, Cultist Keeper Elise, the one cost that could hit 30,000 health. I, I, I like her spell. It's super simple. She's fun to watch. She had good hooks. I, I would say like B tier, high B tier for me. Um, I also definitely remember in playtest, your Elise getting set uh, slam oh and killing your God. entire team at some point. <laughs> yes. It was so good. What was it, like 18,000 health set just boom, yeah. blowing up the whole team? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm very biased because this unit also carried me in like the early patches of, of set four, but I'll, <laughs> I'll, give, her a, I'll give her a B. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I'll accept low A or high B personally. I'll put her with TF. Uh, okay, speaking of uh, another one cost Fiora, Duelist Enlightened set four. Um... This unit is problematic in ways that I don't think we would reprint. Um, but she was a great one cost tank that happened to be a DPS, actually. Duelist and Enlightened both worked really well from her as like a good package. I'd put her in just in B's here, honestly. Yeah, it's weird because I think uh, compared to the other Fioras, we had finally shifted her power and understood this spell well enough that she had, like, had some moments where she shined. I don't know that she had low B. Or... Right next to that cybernetic. Floor, I was going to say, literally maybe. right next to the cybernetic. Yeah. yeah. All right, speaking of which, let's just get this out of the way. Set one, Blademaster Noble Fiora. The OG. D? Hmm? D? <laughs> but it's the D same D spell. Yeah, because she gets reprinted, it's like middle of C for me. It's just like we, we, we intentionally made her stats and spell really bad which is part of why she was so well, bad. Yeah, because that but... was back in the day when you guys thought, that this was like before I had joined the team, when we were developing, we were like, we're going to have purposely bad champions. Yeah. And Fiora was one of those. I, oh. so, so the spell shape is similar to the other ones. The fact that she was purposely underpowered the entire set is what puts me strongly in D as like a never do this again right. uh, kind of feeling. So I'm gonna... she's definitely lower than the other ones, but... I'm going to put her right next to that uh, Academy Garen I don't like. Sure. Uh, Blaster Space Pirate Graves. Is this Smokescreen? Yeah. Disarm? No, Blind. Yeah. This is Blind. Yep. Oh, that puts him 
like in D tier or low C tier for me. It's a good spell shape, but blind is a mistake. And I we don't do it anymore for a reason. Witty? Yeah, it it's low C, high D. Like some of these other Ds are worth if he's D, he's probably the top of he's D. He's the right top now. of D, I think. I think he's the top of D. Alright. Uh Berserker Desert Renekton. One cost. This guy was problematic. Oh, uh, I forgot about this guy. The China yeah. build? Yeah. Oh. I remember it. All stars. We, uh, yeah. So like this is the first one where where while we have a reprinted version of this, the amount better the reprinted version with changings of timing and animation is so much better. So it's like so uh, it, yeah. Yeah, so for C reference D D. for reference chat, this was the first champion that basically didn't have a cast animation. So like the second he just started his animation, he was already gaining mana for the next spell. And that would cause him to literally just like spin, gain, spin, gain, spin, gain. He would go infinite. There was literally no mana lock. He's one of the reasons we first had to really establish mana lock in general. Uh, what did you say his tier was, Woody? I went low C, high D. Yeah, I'm in a similar boat. He's just a worse version of Darius. Uh, like coming off of Darius, I was just like, what a downgrade. Um, yeah, I, I put, All him, right. in I'll put him in D I'll put him D. at the bottom of C. I think he is better than that Graves, though. No, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, okay, we're in the set five land. Dawnbringer Brawler Grogus. Drink, gain damage reduction, <laughs> yes. and then slam the ground? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Chat's saying Chug Jug. He was definitely one of those mean it was builds. Chug, it was Chug I, Jug. I do remember Chug Jug. <laughs> I, I think that this is like a high C, low B is just a general spell design. Like, I could see us doing it again. So B. I think B, probably. Really? B? Yeah. Witty? I look at where B and C. It's somewhere top of C, like bottom of B. Oh, my God. Really? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll put it like better than Nasus, I guess. Is that Yeah, fair? I think better than that. Better than that, Nasus. But I think he's worse than Nocturne. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Arcanist Scrap Yordle Ziggs. This is Ziggs tier. He deserves his <laughs> own tier. I'm not going to say if it's top or bottom. <laughs> There's so much to talk about with this champion <laughs> relationship to Yordle, the first triple traded one cost, the, the spell uh, all these other traits, the spell miss. It's like, I, I just put him in. Yeah, I, I want to put him in. I agree. I don't know what to do with him. I, I, there is so much I love and hate about Ziggs at the same time that makes him <laughs> one of the most memorable one costs of all time. And I can't tell how much of that I love and hate, honestly. All right, you, you have to say a letter here. It can't be, you got to give me a letter here. That much memory. I got to put him somewhere in, in low B. Oh, for me, I think it might be A tier. Whew. So I think my problem is this is like a three to five cost spell on a one cost. It's just such a pain. So I'll go mid B. I think is he better than Ar than than Elise? I don't think so. I think he's between TF and Elise. TF is a good bar okay. right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Depending on how well he did, he was either like S tier feeling or D tier D, D tier feeling. So yeah, middle of the pack seems reasonable <laughs> Some, to me. Someone in chat just said he might have landed one bomb all set. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Kha'Zix, set five, Dawnbringer Assassin. Was this yeah, another so, reprint? Yeah, so yeah. we should have stopped printing this spell by this point, I think. <laughs> um, and Dawnbringer yes. was like a re Dawnbringer was a really bad fit. Um, so yep. wherever the other Kha'Zixes are, he's lower than all of them. I agree with that. I do remember Chugbug, though. Like, as a cop, that was fun to pilot. All right, I'm going to put it below Jarvan, but above Tristana. Yeah. All right. Uh, Arcanist Syndicate Twisted Fate. So he got the advantage of being the like drain tank, pseudo sort of drain tank, put him in the sec in the Velkaz spot. I don't like him as much as Cultist Mage, but I'll still put him in like mid to low B. So Yeah, I, I agree. Okay, I so I agree. I, I think he's actually literally right below that TF, but a lot of people have positive memories of this because he was the Morello bot. Remember you'd like Two star mm. TF plus Morello, and that would like carry you to freaking 5 1. Yeah, he was strangely the first unit I think ever that was good with both Morello and Blue Buff. He was yep. like a spam AoE caster, yep. which 
was spooky, but it was really good at the time. Yep. Uh, okay, I have strong feelings about this one. Challenger Clockwork, Camille. Is that... This is just C tier for me personally. Yeah, witty. Yeah, I think I'm in low B. Traits are awkward. Visuals of the spell are fine. I'm I'm in like low mid C. I think it's like better than the Kha'Zix, but worse than this Diana. Like it's just so unmemorable. You like we talk about three item fantasies. Like this Camille didn't do nothing. She she needed to hook into attack speed more for this to be a memorable spell, given she had two attack speed traits. So yep. All right, uh, reprint sniper enforcer Caitlin. Probably just same as the other Caitlyn, but l below. Agreed. Yeah, I I'm agreeing. Uh, I think Chrono made her more fun. So, yeah. And Enforcer was a really bad trait. <laughs> uh, Warden Lunar. We're back to set two. Warden Lunar Leona. So this, this is, is the like first version 5. of the cybernetic one. Because this is like a mid set drop, right? Yeah. Well, this was yeah. This was before mid sets. This was our drip yeah, yeah. content. And it's let I would put it below Vanguard Cybernetic. Mm -hmm. um, it was more fun when her we sh she's had more fun traits, but not too much. Like she maybe drops below the TFs and the Zigs, but not all the way out of B for me. Like that, yeah. A similar spot for me. The honestly, the only reason I remember her is because we had this is the set where we put Titans Resolve in, and it had infinite stacking at the time, and she could get to be. Yep. Right, colossally huge yeah. to the point where she was off screen yep all right uh so i'm gonna tease you every time one of these champions come up witty set to assassin inferno diana you know yeah. the moon champion <laughs> the moon in, champion in, yes, yes in yes. the elemental set <laughs> yes uh i do put this higher than uh uh the, the spirit where assassin? is our other so you... yeah just in inferno uh or inferno like made this spell much more clear much more uh fun to watch okay yeah. uh, a similar spot to the other diana honestly is where i'm at all right i'm gonna put it there druid woodland ivern i remember druid i played druid all the time i could not tell you what ivern did <laughs> shield this is just okay. shield yeah uh, shield is two range he was the the bad of the the yeah. the druid trio yeah, you'd much low rather have the Maokai. You'd much rather have the Maokai. Yeah, low C for me as well, probably. Okay, it's, it's worse than the Renekton to me. Well, so maybe top of D. Okay, we can go. We can go here. We can go here. I yeah, I kind of think top of D to be honest. I can see that. You fine with that, Witty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, this was a good one. Set to Predator Poison Cogma. I am somewhere in A. This was the the. The centerpiece of the Predator, Predator reroll Cog, build. Yeah. Um, if you really wanted to like make him useful in the late game, he had poison. Worked it with Ludens at the time. Um, like there was a bunch of item builds to make him interesting. So I'm I'm a uh, somewhere in low low A. I think. Yeah, no, I, I could see top of B, bottom of A personally. I think it's really similar to the Zaya. I think the traits actually put it a little above Zaya, so I'm gonna go right there. All right, I, I know someone in chat's looking forward to this one. Uh, Draconic Skirmisher Set Five Udir. <laughs> um, bot. I've been like bottom of C. I, I bet very few people could remember what this spell did. Unsurprisingly, we're not going to reprint it after Udir's oh, no. VGU, oh, or at least no. not in the same way. So he like he swapped between gaining shield and what doing doing something else, like hitting hard. Like, I, yeah, I was, don't remember. It was like shield and then like hard attack. Shield, hard attack. This is a D tier <laughs> champion for me. Oof. Witty would be. I think I think he's better than Ivern. <laughs> I would agree with that. <laughs> Very bottom of C. <laughs> oh, oh no, Ramkev, no. I don't know. I mean, part of it was power, though. I feel I don't know. I feel like if you'd gotten the power to a decent spot, I don't know. I'm gonna That's put a, him. It's a really weird spell. It is, <laughs> but I'm gonna put him right here. <laughs> All right, we're starting to run out of room here. Uh, oh, Moonlight Diana. 
This is better than the other Dianas, personally, for me. Agreed. Um, how much better? I don't know. Maybe a couple champions up, but it's not like it doesn't move it up to like a whole other tier for me. You didn't maybe, have to balance it. <laughs> everybody loved a four star one cost on their back line at the start of a fight yeah everybody did Just everybody like loved too. it i did i did also like one of the the uh the moonlight champions being a more like juggernaut pattern um so yeah i'm i'm above the other dianas okay uh low b sure is it better than sure. kha'zix I think so. Yeah. All right. We'll go there for now. Uh, oh, here's an interesting one. Warden Electric Orn. Set two, I believe. I remember Electric. I, I don't remember what this Orn did. Did he just breathe on people? This was breathe on people and increase the their chance to get crit, which hooked into Electric. It was hard to follow, yeah. but I think for a one cost, like tanky support unit, uh, I'll get him in... He's like a weirdo. I think I'll put him at top of C. Yeah, I, I would say the same thing. And I also, I do remember Orin because of that comment you left in the script. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm putting him a little lower than I think you guys are. I'll put him above Camille. But I think the big thing for me is like that whole ch increased chance to crit thing. That was just a big miss. Such a hard well, unappreciated. He electric, which I liked, but. Yeah, but. Eh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I think we're in set 6.5, Hextech Nocturne. This is the different version of the Battlecast Nocturne. I, I did not play much 6.5, so... Yeah, it, it's lower than the other Nocturne for me. Um, not by a lot. Um, I mean, they're both C tier. Like, I'm not excited by them. But... Yeah, I think it's like way down here, though, actually. It wasn't that good. You couldn't really make it a carry. Uh, oh, here's a good one. Elderwood Brawler Maokai. Set 4. I think this is an A tier personally, and it's kind of weird because the spell is do? super simple. Is this but... the is this the cast of the next auto heal? No, this is um he slams the ground and a shockwave comes out that slows oh, things. Right, 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 right. Chill. And and the chill worked so well with Elderwood. Yeah. Um that like I, I just really like how and this is true for a lot of forecasts, how they interfaced with their traits made them the spell that would have otherwise been a B tier, like slightly higher. It's kind of yeah. where I'm at on it. So bottom Bottom of A, I think, maybe, or top of B. Yeah, I'm top, I'm top of B. I think about this compared to, like, uh, Cybernetic Leona, and I'm like, yep, that's a that's a one-cost tank that works with their traits. Yep. Okay. Uh, Warlord Sharpshooter Nidalee. This was the reprint. S-tier. S -tier. I, th this, this kind of spell is my favorite kind of one-cost. The super inconsistent ones that can win you the round or throw it that get better the, the longer the game goes on because there are more targets. What am I? What am I forgetting about this that was different? Because wasn't it just a reprint of the set one one? No, 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 no. This didn't didn't cat form at all. This was just Chuck Spear. Oh, Chuck Spear. Right. And, These and are the giant shooter bounce. spears that felt really yeah. good. Oh, Th this yes. is right next to the Caitlyn. Yeah, this is, it's almost okay. the same approach. <laughs> yeah, but, but she could much, miss, and that's what's so good about it. Yeah, and she had sharpshooter. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, by the way, I'm supposed to check on something. You guys are going to go gray for a second. What are we at? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Uh, okay, making you guys come back. Okay. Uh, so, okay, you said uh, you said S tier. Witty, what are you saying? I think she's above the Caitlyn's. I don't know if that gets her into S, but... That's fair. Top of A? The, the top of A? <sighs> Is she better than Caitlyn's? Witty? I know your stance, Giovanni. The, the, the stacking with Warlord was good, and Sharpshooter's really good. She's, yeah, right, I, I, I think right. I literally put her top I'm, of it. I'm going to go S. I'm going to go S. <laughs> uh, Druid Woodland Maokai, set two. He's better than Ivern was, <laughs> I think. <laughs> what did he do? This, this, was, this like... was the cast in the next auto heals. Oh, the delay between them was really awkward. Yeah, with, um, with a 0 0.5 attack speed. Yep, but you would get some chunky heal moments. Like, and he had the tankiness to, like, support it. So, again, it's like, it's not that much better than I've heard, but... I don't know. Yeah. So I'm thinking... Gonna, I'm going to put it slightly... Yeah, I'm going to put it slightly below Jarvan above Udyr. 
Sure, yeah. Sure. All right. Sharpshooter Dragon Soul Tristana. It's a C for me. I, I think that, like, it's... A lot of these spells get carried by Sharpshooter being fun. Yes, and hers was, was, like, kind fun. of a mid-tier spell that was brought up by Sharpshooter. And so... It's more like I keep gushing about sharpshooter than the individual units sometimes, so it's like C tier for me. Yeah. Also, also C. I. It would be. It would be hard for me to reprint this spell without some very specific context. Okay, better than Orn, I think. Uh, all right. Sure. Divine Vanguard Wukong. I think this is the first Bonky Kong. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. Um. I. The reality is the spell is not actually that great or that interesting to watch, but like when he's like powerful, it's just fun to have a big chonky single target spell. Yep. Um, and it's also fun to be tanky and also be able to dish damage. So like given the time, like this is like a high B tier for me. Um, redoing it again, eh, it really depends on the traits. So you said, yeah, I, you said high B. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's high high B for me as well. All right, I'm going to say worse than Elise. All right, Witty, another one I get to pick on you for. In our set two with plants, we made the <laughs> Zyra plant lady a summoner inferno. <laughs> yeah, so she also got, has to be similar to Renekton to me in terms of... Uh, she's higher than Renekton. She, she gets a huge, uh, like subtraction for being problematic and she was problematic on the if she was viable you could not tell what was going on in <laughs> yeah. combat my yeah. god yeah. it was just she was combat destroying uh I, I i really wish this was like a two or three cost spell at the time so i'm like yep. actually this probably actually this probably even makes it like high c in a really backwards way okay yeah i i, I she had a lot of problems um, she was still fun to play. Uh, so like, it's like not good for TFT, but like at the time, like high C, it's kind of where I'm at. Arguably the most fun unit with mage spat because it was so true, insane. Very true. Of one cost, maybe. I was about to say mage yeah. any oh, tippers sure, sure, was yeah. so good, but, uh. Malphite. Yeah. Mage Zed. All right. Uh, because apparently Graves is only allowed to be a one cost, we have... Twin Shot Academy Graves. Better than the set three version because it was disarm instead of blind. Um, uh -huh. Not super memorable, which also played into Academy's kind of like not being as memorable alongside Garen. Mm -hmm. um, just C tier. Somewhere. Yeah, this, this is worse. As someone who played that comp a lot, this is worse than Garen. Agree. Okay. Agree. I think he's literally right there. Like the, the, they, they like ruined Academy for me. Uh, Sentinel Skirmisher Olaf. This is the one when he died, he became permanently stronger? No. no this is no. uh this is passive uh yeah. gain attack speed the lower health you are and do and heal healing on, on hit. Oh, this, this is great. This is like a this is a B tier spell for me. Uh Yep. Also B maybe it's low B. Sentinel was fun because you would like not have the shield, then gain the shield, so he had a chance to clutch out while he was low health, but stay low health. But Skirmisher gave you a shield up front, which was really awkward with yep. the spell. So yep. the the spell is great and and reprintable for sure. Better traits, probably, ideally. Yeah. Uh redeemed legionnaire Aatrox, set five. This is just stab, gain health, deal damage, right? Mm -hmm. Just good, simple, like kind of like a Bonky Kong, but heal. Yep. Um, and no yep. stun. This is like a B tier. Like I could see us reprinting this. It's good, simple. It's clean, easy to follow. Um, I don't think it's super memorable, but like it, like it's the kind of thing that like you use to solve problems in a set, and it works out well. So that's kind of like a B tier for me. Yep. Also, lowish mid B. Mm, right about there. So uh. Moonlight Dazzler Lissandra. I like this spell a lot. It's a really unique spell shape that we haven't done very often. She was pretty memorable. I don't think she was as interesting as some of the other, specifically Diana and uh, Aphelios. Top of B for me, personally? Yeah, I don't think I want to... It's tricky. I don't want to rate her higher than the other Diana, but the other Diana loses more points for, like being like more problematic to balance um uh i yeah i think i put her higher than diana this one was also a little hard to read it was definitely hard this. to read 
yeah. on this skin and we kind of hacked it together at the last minute. <laughs> I think she's literally top of C. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, speaking of which, Coven Renewer Lissandra. This was basically a reprint. It's... Yeah, I, I have this weird memories of Coven never shining as much to make this unit work. Um, you, there were a couple of reroll versions that could like burst, but they were definitely a little meme I don't remember her as much as the Moonlight version, honestly, um, even though it is a reprint. So it's it's similarly placed for me, maybe slightly lower, but yeah, it's almost almost the same for me. All right, we're gonna go right here. Uh, all right, Infiniteam. So we're in set eight all of a sudden. Uh, Infiniteam Quick Draw Renegade Lucian. I don't remember this unit. For this some was reason. this was the two cost Lucian from set one, reprinted as a one cost. You give him blue buff. You know, did the rapid fire stuff. The, he, yeah, I, there was the game of worlds he won with the hero augment. He's lower than Ziggs for me, but it, he, I think he's in the middle of B. Maybe oh, chat. He was also me, another. Yeah, chat reminded me of the hero augment that you would get XP every time he cast. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mid, mid, middle of B. I, I think I triple traits i was didn't love and i actually don't think this is a one cost spell i think this was better as a two cost spell so oh, yeah i agree with that but i think for a one cost I, I would put him like right here better than ash but not by much mm-hmm. okay uh bruiser mercenary alawi um i really like this spell shape for alawi as a tank it is not uh appreciable enough unfortunately so the idea that there is a really good positioning ask associated with this that players do not uh actively engage with enough is really unfortunate and i wish we could visualize it better for me this is like c tier yeah i think it's worse than the battle cast version what do you yeah it's, it's a little a little worse than battle it's just less clear to, to watch yeah. um yeah so it's a really good gameplay hook poorly visualized all right, tell me if I'm wrong here. Debonair Arcanist Brand. This was the Dot Mage, right? That was in set. Well, there was a, there was a Brand in five who was the Dot Mage because he was the Abomination version. I don't remember. Yeah, this is six point five. I don't remember playing this spell. Oh, much. this was the double cast one, where every time he cast, he would do damage, and if they were already burning, he would stun them. Mmm. That's right. I did not play much six point five, so. Yeah, where do I put this guy? I could see doing a version of this again, so I think I'm putting him in, like, high C, low B. I think it's low B. I think it's right about there. Uh, oh, okay, I have strong feelings about this one. Hextech Striker Jarvan. Is that 6.5? I also don't. I think both Giovanni and I don't have like strong feelings on most 6.5 yeah. um so i thought this was like as far as one cost go one of the most forgettable one cost we've ever made i think this goes right there with like ivern and Graves. it's like he existed yay okay i'll trust <laughs> you on this one <laughs> yep yep all right again sorry chat we're gonna have to scroll uh oh infiniteam heart pantheon okay so you guys do you know much well that's a set eight you know set eight yeah this is eight yeah this is put magic uh, resist on him, Dragon Claw. Yeah, this is eight point five specifically, yes, right? That's correct. Yeah. Also, not that memorable for me, but maybe I'm oh, really no. I, I so I love this guy. To me, this felt like a good one cost, right? Like he had a cool hook, which was magic resist, which you normally don't build early. His hit was chunky. He'd just like punch you in the face, and it was really hard. Uh, it was really good for Infiniteam. To me, this is like low A. Like, I would literally put him at the bottom of A, but I do think he's A. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, Mutant Scholar Cassadin. Is yeah. your set. <laughs> yeah, he, he was there to solve problems. Um, it's like, a functional spell, not appreciable. You never got really excited about it. 
but it wasn't D tier. So it's somewhere in lower C for me. Yeah, uh, the all the whole protector reroll comp is all going to be next to each other. I, I, and I think I was in disagreement of I would put Garen higher than uh, than Cassidy in that comp, having played it a lot. Just like of those three units, the one I remember the most is Garen. So, this, <laughs> so, so, so right here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nightbringer Renewer Vladimir. So this is a reprint of the Mage Ocean. This is our typical... Heal. He doesn't have mage anymore, so he's not as fun. Yeah. <laughs> High C. Uh, yeah. I can see that. Hellion Knight Poppy, set five. Was of, this Shield Toss? Yes. Of so, Shield Toss Poppy, she's... She's definitely the worst. Yeah. Yeah, this so is... I don't know where that's... I, I actually think that still puts her in like low b the spell i mean we did it many times but maybe, right. maybe she only makes it to c i i think for me this right is here. like just c tier personally um and i think that the armor hook for me like makes the spell uh interesting uh all right we'll so. go top of c for now uh body god your b body god body god apparently <laughs> body guard body guard your little poppy so this is comfortably in B tier for me. The armor hook makes this. Um, uh, Yordle was also just a lot of fun. Like, it was just good traits, good spell. I don't know. It was a good package altogether. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty high, actually. I think it's right there. How many more? Oh, my God. We have so many more to go. <laughs> Holy. We've made a lot, a lot of sets. Of one cost. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, somehow we're still back in set two. Warden Light Nasus. This was grow bigger, deal damage around you? Yeah. yeah. This is higher than uh, Siphoner Nasus to me, but Agreed. not by much. Uh, I think top, it's worse than C. the. I think it's worse than the Vladimir though. Yeah, worse than worse than Lissandra, I think as well. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so right there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, assassin Chemtech Twitch. Ah, ranged assassin. Oh my with god! Piercing. If thought... he gets in the right spot, say goodbye to your back. I love fifty-fifty ranged unit with IE. What, what a and... cool rat! Uh, I don't think we would reprint this. I think it was interesting to to watch. Um, I don't know. He's he's C tier to me. I think. Yeah. Also, somewhere in C, middle C. Yeah. Uh, body God sent body bo I cannot say body bar <laughs> Jesus body guard syndicate Darius set six. I don't think this spell was as memorable as when it was first printed because the board size changed, so he was less likely to hit multiple units. But it is fun to watch drain tanks. Darius has a good animation. Um, syndicate was fun. Like he's like B tier for me personally. Oh, I'm putting him somewhere in A, maybe even okay. high. I, this oh, is he's not really, S. He's not S. Really, he's, not, he's not S, I agree. But he's, and I think I'm going to rate him higher than the set one. Like, set one, it was so memorable because of board size. and and uh, But, like, Syndicate was good. Bodyguard was fun with him. So, yeah. I I'm, I'm low A, yeah. Okay, well, speaking of which, let's do Knight Imperial Darius. I, I, I rate this slightly higher than the other Darius, which is like it's definitely solidly A tier for me. So that's and I right. and I put it slightly lower. So Giovanni and I are trading each other. We all, we're each like, ah, you're the other person's uh, Darius was better. All right. Well, I'm going to I'm going to put it better then because it gets credit for being first. Mm. <laughs> so uh, Sentinel Cannoneer Senna. I this was a, near. I don't remember the spell. This was the shoot the like ghosty uh, uh, missile yeah, at stun. farthest, and yeah. it was a really thin stun missile. It, it was a reasonable spell. Awkward traits is where I'm at, and yeah. Sentinel kind of worked. So yeah, bottom of B, sure. I, I, I like the spell. I think the spell is sure. good for a one cost. All right, yeah. Blade Master Hextech Camille. Again, Camille. Holy, this spell is like probably just 
D. It's like you slam them and root them. This or is something? root. This is yeah. root them. Root in, in <laughs> TFT. TFT. Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think this goes like right about here. Because you, because you also are, when you're rooting them, you're you're a melee unit. Yep. Like they're yep. just gonna attack you. I just like don't understand it. All right, we're back to set one. Shapeshifter Demon Elise. With the spider she's, she's summoned spiders, and people don't remember that because set four, everyone with was like, oh, this damage. is just a reprint. With the player damage. It used to do player damage. Oh, there is so much going on here, including, and I can't remember, did this spell, is this the one spell that went, changed prices on live? Uh, it's the one champion. Yes, she shipped as a two, and we she nerfed her to one. She was a two one. cost. She yep. shipped it to two, we nerfed her to one. She's the only time we've ever changed a champion's cost after ship. <laughs> This champ is B tier to be. There's what? tons of problems with her. Tons of problems. What? But here, okay, here's my defense. Fun, fun with demon. You can question demon, but giving spiderlings demon was fun. And I think if we didn't ship this, we wouldn't have shipped summoner in, in set two. Like this was the first and only summoning champion in set one. Oh. I would never do her as a, I would never do as a one cost. I think she's a really bad we, one cost. We defined <laughs> silver as would not reprint or C. I don't know. I said silver. C. Yeah, still make her one cost. So, so I, I'm, I'm like, you could talk me into like right about here, I guess, but I think she's far lower. I, I think I would view her as an A cost at the time and a D cost these days. So C seems reasonable to me. All right, we're going there. <laughs> uh, Protector Mutant Cassidy. Oh, this was before or after the mid set. Uh, it must have been before, so I guess it just goes in the same spot because it's a yeah. similar trait, which we put it here. I don't here. think he got meaningfully changes. Yeah, because from... it was Protector, then yeah. Scholar. I think the Protector version was better. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Agreed. Uh, singed. Flippy Boy. Innovator Chemtech. <gasps> Flippy Boy. Th this is A tier. Probably not S, but Time that. Flies was so good. Time Flies? <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I think he makes it into A for me. Might not be a one cost, which maybe also still makes him A, because it's just like, that's a lot of CC for a one cost, but... Yeah, right there. He's so fun to watch. He's he good. He is fun to He's watch. Like, I love tanks that do not gain healing and shielding and still clearly feel like tanks, yeah. and he's one of those, so... All right. All right, we got Milk's champion, Hellion Cavalier Kled. Very complicated for a one cost. Yes. What do you mean? Uh, the guy who one tricked him to worlds didn't know how half his kit works. <laughs> Spoilers was not a one cost for most of dev. Um, uh, that being said, middle of B. I, I could see him as a B tier. Yeah. Middle of B, huh? Yeah, you're probably right. I think he's like right below this right there. Yeah, it's tricky when we're talking about would we reprint it as, oh, well, if they weren't a one cost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Callista. Ah, uh, so uh, an attempt at another uh, Caitlyn and Nidalee, but uh, well below that bar visually and uh, trait-wise. Yep. So yep. she drops probably bottom of b i would say the same thing okay. um i i mechanically i think it's very interesting to have that overflow damage as part of the kit um <laughs> like travel through spectacle didn't quite get there bottom of b for sure she was also bugged a lot of the set so yeah uh redeemed knight leona another leona it's right next to cybernetic leona at this point there she loses she loses points for this point the meme of like why are we getting the same Leona spell over and over? So, yeah, but I put it below. Just people are a little tired of her. Yep. yep. Chat's trying to say S tier for this Leona. She was uh, strong. Oh, Candyland Poppy, set three Vanguard Star Guardian. She's next to the other Poppy. Was this the reason units stopped being able to gain mana while shielded yes. or something? There was yes. something like that? Yes. I yeah. think so. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Just memorable. <laughs> I, I think she makes it a slightly above uh, Yordle Poppy. To, uh, I mean, she's right next to Yordle Poppy. It's usually right below for me, personally. Yeah, well, but... wait. Yordle Poppy had the armor hook. This one didn't. 
Yeah. But it had a mana hook until it didn't. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> would not reprint. <laughs> would not reprint. Uh, Scrap Innovator Ezreal. Yeah, this, this was shield damage and gain. Gaining, gaining gain AS? It. Yeah, second AS. This is like somewhere in B. Yeah, high, high B, I think, for me. Was, I think this is fun. A. I think this is oh, a sure, solid yeah. I can one see it Yeah. Um, I would put it in like the Zaya Cogma tier. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh God. Uh, forgotten Ranger <laughs> Vane. Shadows I mean, Zeke. at this Shadows Zeke. at this, it's it's still another Vane reprint. But at this point, Zeke's is in the game, or the Shadow, Shadow items Zeke. are in the game, and people are sick of her, and like forgotten is whatever. Oh, yeah, like. Below the other veins by a chunk. Yeah. Where are the other, where are the other veins? Didn't Runons work here? So she was true damaging off the Runons too? Only if Runons worked on the other ones. We may have gotten rid of that by this point. Well, I know Runons like came and backed. So yeah, I think Runons worked at this point. Yeah, I think okay. so. I think this has to be C just from that. Like, yeah. I'll put it yeah, here. Agreed. But like, clearly it was like busted. Not to mention one cost true damage. Like it was insane. Uh, Forgotten Brawler Warwick. Ah, uh, yes, let's reprint the D-tier Warwick. No, 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 no. This one had a reset, right? If it got a yeah. kill? Yeah. Oh. He could pop off. I remember I, making I some really good meme one. build. Like, it was terrible. It never was competitively viable, but, like, the meme builds were hilarious. I, yeah. I think this is a B-tier for me. I would reprint right, this right. spell with some changes, like personally. Yeah, it's high C for me. Um, we'll go there. It... it, it yeah, never, never having seen him be viable, and even with shadow items, but yeah. Oh, the the, the shadow archangels. Was, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we we almost one. cut the we almost cut the reset because we were afraid he was OP. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh my god, one, two, three, four, five. Six. We have still seven more rows to go. Okay, uh, Hellion Spellweaver Ziggs. It was a reprint of De yeah, set five, a uh, reprint of Demolitionist with a bunch of fizzle fixes, and he was uh, intentionally much more, much better with attack speed. So higher than that other Ziggs. Um, yeah. Still middle of B. Right there. Uh, Rebel Bruiser Tom Kench. Uh, this was gain a shield that did damage so that it would trigger the fireworks. Oh yeah, I don't really have a comment on this one. I don't. I did not play much. Yeah, it's worse than the other. Kench. I think it's like top of B. I think it's like top of yeah. B. Yeah, like it's fine, but it wasn't as good. Yeah, Jade Guardian Tarek. He existed. What did he, what did he do? Jade. I'm sure Guardian he just shielded Tarek. or something. I don't remember, but like, he was the one cost Jade. He like he existed. Yeah, this is low C. Uh, grants himself and the closest oh. ally a protective rune that increases armor for six Ugh, seconds. God. And it was try it was trying to synergize with Guardian um, and Jade. This this to me was the champion that like him never never dealing damage. I I really right. Didn't like right. I'll put him like low C for me. Yeah, like right around here. All right, we had a Malphite in D tier, and we reprinted him where he could cast his spell again. Lagoon Bruiser. <laughs> I think this guy's fine for a one cost. I think he's That's like low B. Yeah, high C. Oh, I lost. Uh, I don't. I don't put him above the Poppies or Lissandras. I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely so, somewhere in C, mid C, probably. So high, yeah, mid high C. Okay, so I think right about here. Yeah. Uh, Vladimir, Astral Mage. Lower than the other mage. Yep, yep. agreed. Uh, Where is but the other better mage? than than not mage. I think better it's all the way mage? in. Okay. Yeah, better than night. Better than Nightbringer, but Astral. Low B. Had its own problems. Yeah. Actually, the other mage is all the way up here. Is it all the way up here? Yeah. Might just be. It's just, it's for me. It's a low B tier personally. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'll put him like here. He's, he's ocean, also ocean helped a bunch. Yep, and he's starting to wear on people. We should have done a twist, probably. Yep. yep. Guild Cavalier Sejuani. I like this champion. The traits 
really made this unit interesting. Yes. The spell... Well, the spell was mathematically fine. broken, but remember there was the Sejuani builds where you'd three-star her? Yeah. I can't remember what the interaction was, but it was like something about the health scaling caused it to it was get just like... a. It was a, one of our first health... As we were getting more and more into scaling with health Dragon or armor Dancer. or MR. Dragon Dancer Sejuani. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she can be in somewhere in B. Agree with B. Okay. Somewhere here-ish. Yeah. Okay. Nothing special with Cavalier, which... Yep. Uh, uh, Jade, Dragonmancer, Karma. Oh, this champion was a balanced nightmare because Dragonmancer <laughs> was a balanced nightmare. Yeah. So this was just... The spell is fine, though. Just throw... Yeah, just throw target. ball. It's, it's like a crappy version of the three costs now without the triple cast. Yeah. Um... For a one cost, I think it's fine. This is a one cost version of that spell, yeah. It's B tier for me, I don't know. Like, we'd probably reprint something similar. I think it's like below the TFs, but above the Zigs. Yeah. Sure. Uh, another uh, Jade Warrior Bonky Kong. I think I felt like this was a touch worse than the other Bonky for whatever reason. Only a little, though. I'm just going to put them right yeah, next to each like other. Yeah, it's like literally next to each other. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tempest Swift Shot Ezreal. I like this champion. He suffered from his traits. Yeah, he he just yeah. ends up below the other the other Ezreal the other I think identical Ezreal. Agreed. Yeah, I I think like he's the bottom of A tier. Cool. Sure. Uh, Shimmer Scale Warrior Aatrox. So this is the Legionnaire one reprinted. Um. I think this felt better. It's like right next to it. Yeah, I think it's just right next to it. The Shimmer Scale trait was slightly more fun, but like only slightly. Yeah. See that. Uh, Mirage Guardian Leona. This champion, I mean, it's again, it's another Leona. Just put him in the group. Yeah, and it, I might put it at like Mirage. This, this type of unit in Mirage, uh, I think, uh, works well. Yeah. Uh, Lagoon Talia. I thought this was a great champion. I think this is like close to S tier. Eh, low A. Yeah, I put her in, in mid, mid, mid A. So she was, uh, she would cast three times and her damage was high, but often mm -hmm. one or two could miss. So it was I like, see. it felt pretty good for a one cost. Seems like the kind of thing I'd like. Yeah. Uh, Senna, this was a reprint of the other Senna, but better traits, I thought. The, although Ragewing was a little awkward on her. Ragewing's a little awkward. I think it's... Yeah, they're both... They they both have their awkwardness. Yeah, so, so. just next to each other. Uh, Astral Shapeshifter Nidalee. This is a reprint of set one, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. But it wasn't uh, quite as fun, and it was Astral, which caused all the Astral problems. Yeah, but she had a lot of movement speed. She, she was she fast. <laughs> better, she better, better than the other one. Uh, hey, but Astral, Astral really. No, I don't think it was better than the other one. Yeah, never mind. Never I mind. think it's right there. Top of B. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Skarner. Uh, no, this, this is, is D. Not this good. I don't know that it's D. While the shield holds is my favorite mechanic to have in no, TFT. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> do, you know do you know how many times we tried to make scoped weapons Skarner work? It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. This champ's a D to me. Yeah. I don't know that I put it below Renekton, but maybe that's because... Fine, I'm... I'll give you literally right <laughs> above above Renekton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should maybe move more of C tier into D. Uh, Probably. Based on this. <laughs> uh, Heimerdinger, Trainer Mage. I don't remember. Like, wasn't this just like the bomb, the egg? This yeah, is lob. Egg. This is this is kind of set three Zoe, but worse, I think. Yeah. By a by a meaningful amount, actually, than more than I'm thinking about it. Plus, it was Mage, uh, which actually made it really frustrating. Yeah, it was odd with Mage. This is C tier to me personally. Like Zoe's just like the better version of this. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like here. Uh Shimmer Scale Guardian Nasus. So this is mid set of seven. Yeah, we really like this Nasus skin. Look at this. 
<laughs> three times. Seriously. Oh, jeez. I think it's the worst version, but it's it's fine. It's like same spot. Sure, yeah. I yeah. Think so. Rage Wing Dragon Mancer set. I hated this guy. There was like one build of him that worked, but he was so complicated and so hard to use. Yeah, this was... Yeah, you never had a time where he was good with Dragon Mancer, which was surprising. Um... Chat saying S tier. <laughs> yeah, so this, this was Dean Armor and MR. Uh, every other punch does bonus damage. Well, you you yeah. entered this mode for a little while, where like yeah, it was and it was the same duration as the Rage Wing effect. So yep, it was right, yeah, right. one two punch, one two punch. Hopefully, you have a lot of attack speed. Yep. God. Yeah, I I don't put this that low, admittedly, but. Like right below the poppies? It's got to be above the Heimer. Uh, it is above the Heimer. The Heimer's right yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Sure. 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 Oxforce Talon. I. This was yeah. cast, jump to the corner, and stab them for a large chunk of damage. This was like long, long bleed. Um. I liked Long Bleed. Um, well, I mean, the damage was, was up front, but... And if he gets a kill, he heals, right? Oh, no, no, no. You're right. This is a different spell that I'm thinking of. You're, this is you're not Long bleed. bleed. This is not the Long Bleed. This is the jump yeah. and one hard stab. And if it kills, you get some heal. And it's Ox Force. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this kind of... And he had the leap, which is kind <sighs> Torn. He's somewhere... I, I really think it's like really low, but set for Talon, and this felt like, you know, like the the faded memories of a beloved but frustrating champion brought back as a one cost. It didn't live up to expectations, so for me, it's like C tier. All right, uh, Anima Squad Renegade Silas. It took this a while, a... but I like this guy. S spin, spin to win. This was spin to win. He needed. He scaled off health. And his oh, yeah, uh, yeah. hero augment gave him even more health. So you really only played him around his hero augment, but his hero augment was kind of fun. I, I yeah. remember some games with him. This is like um, either low B or high C for me, I think. I think he got there eventually, like you said. Yeah, I think I'm in high C. A lot of my memories of this guy were playing him in the first first uh, few patches of the set. Okay. Mecha Prime Defender Wukong. I think this is. I think this spell was terrible. Yeah, I, give, given Mecha Prime, I never wanted to make Mecha Monkey. Yeah. Uh, and, and the only reason he did was if his hero augment was broken. Yeah, he got overshadowed by other ways to play Mech, and how the visuals were fine. I don't think he's terrible, but... All right, I'll give you... He's, he's below that Alawi, I think. Yeah. And definitely below any version of Twisted Fate. Yeah, 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 okay. Right here? Sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, Gadgetine Defender Poppy. Shall we put him with the other poppies? This is one last poppy throw. Yep. yep. B definitely below Yordle Poppy and Star Guardian Poppy for me. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, Laser Core Brawler Renekton. So this is reprint, but we had fixed the animation, actually had some anticipation, mm -hmm. and there was a laser core, like, keep them alive, get all the drones. Yep. There's a lot about, like, it's not Darius, but gets up there into B tier, I think. I can see that, yeah. Probably. This is just a good frontliner in the early game. Easy to understand, fun to watch. There's a sure shot laser core here, and then we have two more. I think this one's a reprint, so okay. looks like there's two ashes here. Uh, laser core recon. So laser core recon is the worst version because recon was far worse. This was the like dash that never quite worked right. Yes. Yeah. So I think that goes all the way down to like here. Let's see that. Yep. Yep. Uh, Gadgetine heart Lulu. Oh, in 8.5, this became a monster. The heart reroll comps where you'd reroll Lulu and Pantheon. Uh, this is just a um, piercing shot, right? Yeah, it was piercing shot, but this was also like, you know how a lot of our players really hate reroll comps? This was the embodiment of that. It was like reroll Lulu, reroll Pantheon, a couple others, mm -hmm. and you just played this reroll heart comp. Cleansing safeguard. My, 
my memory is from 8.0 playing the uh the hero augment version mm -hmm. uh, which uh, yeah uh, the spell itself uh, lacking but it's not it's not terrible uh low b yeah i can yeah. see that i think yeah. it's better i think it's better than one cost fiora sure yeah 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 Let's go there uh admin brawler blitzcrank this was B tanky. Okay, so this I think is A tier for me, almost entirely carried by admin and all of the things that worked well with him in admin. It's dirt simple, um, but like so much more memorable than like other super simple tank spells like Malphite. Yeah, I can see admin carrying. He, it's a similar spell as the the Leona's. Um... I'm fine with that. I might put it a touch lower, but I do think it was better than Revel Bruiser Tom Kench. So, yeah, yeah. Chicken Galio. I so personal preference on this. This is like C tier for me. Um, I dislike uh, units that have like movement where they move to a hex and then move, like saunter back to their own hex, especially at one cost for combat clarity issues. Um, that's just my personal preference. Is like it's uh, hey, mascot. Mascot is a big plus, though. Like the the thing that the most memorable of the mascot dances was Galio goes to the side and does the chicken dance. That's true. That is true. To, to encourage your team, so I'm gonna put it right it's here. It's It's very narrow. Yeah, he, he, it was a, a lot of things would have to go right to print the spell again. Yep. Ugh. Star Guardian Spell Slinger Lux. This was the spell that missed a lot. Yeah. This was. Zigs before Zigs, but also so after Zig. harder. This is. Uh, oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, th this is set eight Lux. Yeah, yeah. This is below Zigs for sure. Uh, oh, and she she ended up being really awkward with her traits, so she wasn't even like yeah that viable of an early game. No, yeah, she like yeah. she was really rough. Yep. Yep. Like, agree. You know, just thinking. That about this spell and this unit honestly makes me want to raise zigs up a tier you know <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of right actually <sighs> okay we're, we're in the more like recent stuff i guess there's two pantheons because we already did pantheon once i think anyway uh anima squad mascot nasus I think this unit is primarily carried by its hero augment. Yeah, the hero augment is great. Yeah. So with the hero augment like A tier, without I think he's just like there's unforgettable. A... Yeah. There's something here about a one cost like Nasus Q, but yeah. Like you would never itemize this champion without the hero augment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh speaking of which, Underground Duelist Kale. I think might be like she was underground, so she had to pay the underground tax, so it was fair, but might be the worst kale we've ever printed. Yeah, this is just like splash around her target for a few seconds. Yep. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I, I'm gonna put it at highest of D. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Super's Gangplank. This was shoot a gun in your face. I thought this was light them on fire with sword. No. No, no, no. no. Um, I could be wrong, but I thought this was a shoot gun in the face. Uh, Gangplank then fires a flaming bullet at his target. Plus flaming bullet. Out okay. Of damage and wounds them for eight seconds. Yeah. So shoots a gun in their face. Yeah. Hard to see someone shoot someone from from melee rage, lighting him on fire. Find uh, supers. Yeah, I played him a bunch, but not because he was an interesting unit. So for me, it's yeah. C tier. It's below any Twisted Fate, I think. So right about here. I go. I, I would put him lower than that. Where like Vane and Alawi, but somewhere in this section, better than worse yeah. than Zyra. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, all right. I think we're starting to hit some set nine stuff here. Ooh. Demacia Slayer Kale. This is an S tier design that suffered because of the set structure, um, especially on release, which brings her down to an A for me. 
Witty? Yeah, I put her in mid, nah, mid to low A, I think. I'll give you that. I, I still don't like the fact that like you hit three Kales on 2-1, and your choice is either re-roll Kale and plan to play around it, or be incredibly sad because she's so bad. Yes. That's the thing uh. I don't like about her. It is unique. It's unique, but it's, it just breaks the trait structure so much. Yeah, I, I think that there are there is something to solve here with Kale to get this 2S consistently that we did not get to. Yep. Uh, Milio. Milio's an A for me. He's fun to watch. Um, I think that uh, stunning the the target you hit with the ball from like a spell shape perspective is not as like engaging as like hitting a backliner. But just I love watching him kick balls. It's fun. Yeah, yep. same. Totally, totally agree. Uh, Cassiopeia. She pays like the one cost triple trait tax, uh, hard anchored into blue buff, doesn't have enough access to grievous wounds to like make the repeat cast as interesting. She's like top of B, bottom of A for me. Yeah, I'm somewhere in in top or middle of B probably. Ooh. Um She's just I, I worse than she's a, witty. Uh, uh, that's been being carried by admin. Yeah, I mean, I, I could totally see doing this spell again, but that's yeah. like tr the the trait fit is is pretty rough. I I liked Cassiopeia a lot. I felt like for again for a spammy caster one cost, she really fit the bill. Sure, the sure. traits are off, like you said, but I th I think I would easily re reprint the spell any time. Agreed. Uh, all right, chill bite him. S tier. If you take a three cost that's super fun and put them down into <laughs> one cost, it, you just it's a free win. I think that the pattern works better on a one cost because you can invest into them early. Um, it, like it, you players have entire stories based around how big they can get him. Like this is just great. All right, third third best champion we've ever printed at one cost. Uh, I think so. I don't know if it's better than the Caitlyn's relative to their time, but. Uh... It's it's right up there, so Okay. Uh Alawi. Again. Alawi. Where's all the other Alawis? Way down here. Yeah. I... It, it, she doesn't do anything. Yeah. She exists. I hate yeah. this Alawi. Uh Aurelia. I mean Giovanni, you made this one. Um, I don't think she ever got to live out. Uh, the fantasy I would have loved to see with her. She's good at what she does. She's not particularly memorable. It's like a low B. Because like I would reprint this. Um, maybe with some minor changes. Um, maybe high C. Yeah. I... I think I put her in low B. She's got a lot going against her, but I'm like... The fact that I'd be like, I would reprint this, and I think there's lots of ways to like easily get this to better um, makes me more confident. I, I think she's worse than the poppies, so I'm gonna put it right below the poppies. Oh, sure, that's fair. Um, I yeah, her being in challenger hurts. Uh, Malzahar, the 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 dagger to my heart champion. Uh, D, D tier, he's maybe low C. I don't know. He's there's a lot of better ways we could do Malzahar. He can't. Uh, he can hit moving targets. Copium. <laughs> he can't hit moving targets. Uh, he had to be nerfed from three to two targets, and then his spell doesn't like look as good. Any, like I, I'm not happy with where he ended up personally. Um, agree. Yeah, Kent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maokai, Shadow Isles Bastion. Um, Dev Malkai S tier. I mean, you bet him so strong. What do you <laughs> Re release Malkai? Maybe not as as good. Um, similar to me, but slightly worse than Elderwood, which puts him. I would reprint the spell. I think. Where, where is like Elderwood? Bottom of B, baby. I'm trying to find Elderwood Malkai. She he was pretty far up, I think. Was he all the way in A? Might have been an A. Uh, oh, there he is. So, like here. I, th I think he's, he's he's a B tier champion. I would reprint him. Um, okay. yeah. maybe, he's noticeably lower than Elderwood for me personally, but like 
Yeah, he's just put them there so you can compare the splash arts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Flip them. Uh, Oriana. I mean, I'm putting Oriana right next to Malzahar. Uh, I would maybe even put this down to D personally in their current iteration. Um, I, I like actively would avoid reprinting this. Like, I think this is not a good spell. Um, shielding a unit is fine. Uh, the fact that she just auto attacks and there's no special visuals and then she does a chunk of damage is just like so unappreciable and feels so bad. I, I think this is my least favorite support unit of all time. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Poppy. I think this is like the worst of the Poppy so far. Agreed on that. Yeah. I, she pays the Yordle tax. She, uh, is she worse than Aurelia? I think so, actually. Yeah, I would say so. I think this one actually goes like all the way down like here. This is pretty low seats. It, it does get credit for four star though. Four star Poppy was kind of fun. Yeah, Yordles, Yordles never really got to shine in the way that I would have liked them to. Yeah, um, agree. And so like, even though she had a cool fantasy, just like, yeah, I agree. Uh, Renekton, I think this Renekton is like really good. Yep, I agree with that. Yep. Uh, similar to Darius, uh, not maybe not quite as high because Darius did it first, but yep. can I, can I it's like right there. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Samira, I think this is another great champion. Yeah, that would take the three cost version, remove half the kit, put it in uh, a one cost slot, and it just works out well. We should just keep doing that. Eight, it's eight tier for me. Yep, agree. Cool. Uh, Jin, Caitlyn, but worse. Yeah, Caitlyn, but worse, but Caitlyn, but worse is, is fun. Right, um... so it's still like high B. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. agree with that. Yep. The animation speed's so long. <laughs> It is, it is. Nope. And then nope. he can miss, and you're like, oh my god, Jin. Or like, hit someone with 100 HP. Oh, is so it fun. better than Twisted Fate? The... I, don't I don't think, think so. so. Yeah. I think right there. Uh, this Tristana... Pff, right Not... here with this one? Yeah. Yep, yep. Very agreed. similar. It gets to be a little cooler with Yordle, but... Both like both were more interesting because of their traits, but still didn't quite make it there. Yep. Viego. This is maybe D tier for me, honestly. Um Ooh. the approachability of his spell is very low. His mechanical hook is interesting of like being an engine. He's just he's I don't I'm not a fan. I can see low C instead. So Witty? I've, I've barely touched this guy, so I'm yeah, I'm gonna go defer. Uh, Graves. Uh, triple traded uh, rogue has had problems. I think he's better than the other Graves because of his traits. Um, yeah, for sure. So meaningfully above them, but not up another tier. Is Someone he better or worse still. than Poppy? Worse. Would he agree? Yeah, I don't put him right there. Oh, oh, set nine poppy. Yeah, better, set nine poppy. Better than set nine yeah. poppy. I think so. Would he? Yeah. 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 Okay, well, then I'm gonna put him like right about here. Sure. And that's it. We did it. Oh, we did everything. We did. Uh, because Ooh, this is a reprint, and these three were in the list twice for some reason. Okay. That's a lot of champions. Okay, so to sum it up. The worst of the worst. We're not going to go through everything, but the worst of the yeah. worst. Kale, Oriana, Jarvan, Ivern, Camille, Graves, Malphite, Warwick, Warwick, Talia, Mordekaiser. You happy oh, with scroll that down a being bit the worst uh, of the worst? Camera's in the way. What's that? Scroll down a bit. Oh, the camera's yeah, yeah, in the yeah. way. There you go. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I agree with this. This is a batch of not great units right here. <laughs> okay. And at the top... We have Yasuo, Tom Kench, Cho'Gath, and Nidalee as our four S tiers. Can I bump Caitlyn up to an S tier? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank for you. For sure. Not, Thank you. Not Enforcer, but Chrono, yes. Right, 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 like that. Yep, yep, yep. Is there any... So, are any of these A's that you would call S... For me, personally, I loved Talia, but I know there's some bias there. I think that spell is fun. Um, any others you would call... Personally, I could see an argument made for Vane. Yeah. And I think for Singed, personally. Oh, you But you I understand other people may spell. not agree. Yeah. Yeah, and I could maybe see Nami with Ooh, especially true. with especially with Mage. Um I, 
I, given that Nami is, the, I think, the best support unit we've ever printed at one cost, even though she doesn't keep up with the tanks and uh, DPS who are more appreciable, that deserves S tier for me. All right, how's that look for our S tier? We'll have one row. It'll be nice and pretty for S tier. Yeah. God damn, look at look at set four, just like I said. All right, this guy. <laughs> this guy. All right, well, Giovanni, Witty, thank you for joining me. This has been episode yep. one of uh, Dev Hour. Uh, we're, doing, we're doing set 10 champs now, right? <laughs> yeah, Ooh. about that. We can only talk about Karthus, so... Uh, um, yeah, so at some point, we'll do episode two and three and four and five. We'll do all the other costs. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and that's going to do it from us. Until next time. 